Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker. Well, it's that time of year, it is the fruit harvest, and this year I have had a complete failure of my crops. So, we've got four, that's four pear trees of varying varieties, cooking, eating, and they've all failed. So my Cadillac's failed, my Abwehr Super Thin has failed, my Conference, I've got three tiny, whiny little pears on it, which are, um, you know, useless. <laughs> and my Moral Croft has failed as well. So nothing to do. Um, but being a prepper, what am I going to do about it? I'm going to go out there, I'm going to find some more. I'm going to do some scrumping, some foraging, and see what I can come up with. So here we are, my favorite blackberry picking site. Um, absolute abundance behind me, as you can see, in every direction, miles and miles and miles of blackberries, blackberries, whatever you want to call them. Absolutely tasty, absolutely delicious. Um, I'm gonna have a field day here, and I'm sure I'm gonna give myself stomachache eating loads. I could truly spend all day here harvesting all these juicy blackberries. In no time at all, I managed to fill up handfuls and handfuls of blackberries ready to make something delicious. As well as blackberries, other uh, fruits you might want to look at harvesting this time of year would be things like damsons, sloes, absolutely fantastic. Um, look up the recipes, get it made, and uh, get some yumminess in your tummy. Okay, here we are, location number two. We're at a roadside tree, um, pretty unpruned, pretty scabby, but the fruit in it should be um, relatively okay to eat. Uh, give it a wash off at home, and we should be going great guns. As you can see, pretty slim pickings in here, but the apples are about. Some of them a little bit deformed, a little bit poor condition, but uh, it's enough. All right, here we go. Varieties unknown, but it's an apple, Cox, Worcester, something like that. Um, yeah. Hey, you know what? It's free. It's absolutely free. Tasty. Can't be argued with. Okay, here we are at another location. In fact, one of my favorite trees of the area. I don't know the brand, but it is fantastic. I look forward to it every year. And uh, let's have a taste of what I can only describe as green. As you can see here, the pickings are much more bountiful, uh, much more plentiful, really nice. Um, you know, that's great. The size is good, the quality is good. Uh, this is more setback from the road. Yep. I can have an absolute field day here and I know these apples are going to keep well until the end of the month. Okay. Mm. I take it back. It's absolutely beautiful. The size is beautiful. Um, it doesn't need a wash up. It's great. It reminds me of gold delicious food and um, it truly is delicious. Mm. Carlos Bella. So there we have it. Within a morning's foraging, I've got apples, I've got blackberries. Um, yeah, I'm pretty set up. Um, it's a wonderful time of year. It's all free. And I suggest you go look at um, what's around your area. And if you're unsure what there is, have a look on Landshare. Landshare.com, landshare.co.uk. Um, absolutely fantastic sites. These people are willing to share their glut of apples, plums, pairs whatever they have um, if you're willing to share with them something that you got do check it out so for now 
It's been deep in the bunker. Take care. Stay safe. Stay sane. And get some fruit in your diet.